The world is still in a Wild West period regarding copyrights, and if the dust doesn't settle soon, we could all become destroyed. Last week, the Netherlands became the first European country to engage a net neutrality law. Under the now-in-effect order, internet providers must not throttle or charge variable fees for access to certain internet services. And the day after net neutrality went into effect? The Dutch government, now effectively in control of internet rules and regulations, ordered internet providers to block access to the Pirate Bay. Virgin Media was amongst them, and made a statement that they wished there was a better way. But, at the risk of being fined 10,000 euros a day, they followed through with the order. As a result, a group claiming to be anonymous organized a denial-of-service attack on Virgin for blocking access to the Pirate Bay, causing Virgin to take their site offline for a few hours. Then, in an unexpected turn of events, the Pirate Bay attacked Anonymous by issuing a press release stating that DDoS attacks were akin to limiting free speech and that Anonymous should not be attacking Virgin, or anyone for that matter, even if they don't agree, but should instead be calling officials and giving, quote, your mom a call to tell her you love her? Pirates versus anarchists? And moms? This could get ugly. Meanwhile, the Pirate Bay has gone as far as actually experimenting with the concept of suspending server equipment in low Earth orbit over international waters with remote-controlled flying drones in an attempt to find a legal location to serve files. Copyright infringement concerns are certainly growing. HBO's Game of Thrones is on track to become the most pirated show of 2012. According to the Big Champagne Torrent Tracker, the show's second season, which began last month, has been downloaded over 25 million times. If HBO is wondering what they can do to combat the loss, they might consider, you know, making the show available for sale so that fans of the show who don't have HBO will have a way to watch it. On the other hand, Disney's Avengers was leaked in full form onto BitTorrent sites before its release, causing a major scare to Disney investors, but went on to shatter all-time opening box office records with over 200 million in opening weekend ticket sales. I.e., if you don't want people to copy your work for free, try making it available for purchase. In China, Encryption specialists made an incredible breakthrough last week in quantum teleportation, using entanglement to teleport photons 100 kilometers. Unlike the theoretical beam me up Scotty style of teleporting humans, quantum teleportation is a means of transmitting information over a distance without actually moving across a distance, but instead reappearing somewhere else with the same information. Complicating matters. With the rise of accessible, inexpensive 3D printers, we find folks like Wired's Chris Anderson spending the day cranking out a Warhammer Dreadnought figure. Note, whoever wrote up the specs suggests people hurry and get it before it disappears from a takedown notice. And in case you're wondering if this will always be a cat and mouse game of locks and keys, the answer is no. This could just as quickly come to an unfortunate and abrupt end. What happens when someone gets really smart and creates a robot that will make more robots, and then each of those robots make more robots using any material they can find? Dirt robots, tree robots, rock robots? Until eventually the whole universe becomes one big blob of robots. Movies and music are generally meant to be enjoyed by the world, and I just think someone should take a closer look into the internet before artists cause people to cause pirates to cause governments to cause robots to take over.